right? Or am I looking for comfort where actually the situation is quite dire? In fact, in fact the situation is serious. Um, it, it has actually uh, hit most of our important uh, systems. Um, but uh, the good thing about it is that uh, we managed to basically detect, uh, to, to detect it, our monitoring systems, managed to detect it before it can actually cause more damage than what we, 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 we have now. So what is the impact uh, of, of the hack, uh, the attack on your IT systems? So most of our applications and systems were, were basically attacked um, from the vending system, that is uh, people buying electricity outside, prepaid electricity outside, um, to basically people that want to log calls and even the invoices that are supposed to be uploaded. Today is the 25th, so our, 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 our suppliers uh, most of them, it's going to disrupt their payment system to, for, for their uh, workers because they are not able to upload the systems uh, 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 from, from outside. So they have to basically come into City Power head office to do that and we have passed that message to them so that we don't, we don't disrupt that system. So it, it actually um, uh, 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 hit some of the, uh, obviously the systems also inside, but we managed to recover the data so that the data, uh, especially for the, for, the, for the customers and for the employees, is not compromised. Mm. So I was reading somewhere that um, part of what it will mean is that even your responses to outages, power outages in some areas, may be affected. Yeah, so the internal system that we are using um, was also affected because when, when we get a call and there is a, a transformer that is needed, it has been down in Lenazia or Alexandra, we need to lock it internally and basically be able to dispatch, to order and dispatch. So that system has also been uh, slowed down, not really completely shut because we can still do things uh, manually and transfer them uh, to, uh, to, 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 to the computerized system later, but then it means that the response time will be will be will be affected uh, as such sure Isaac this this is worrying man because we've been Very. talking about issues to do with cyber security as yes. if they are abstract issues yes and occasionally you hear that this company suffered a cyber attack but in South Africa I think it's never really been a big company that provides a service that we simply can't exist without. And I was uh, off air in my conversation with you, I was sort of drawing parallels with what happened with the NHS uh, at some point, I think last year in the UK, where basically it wreaked havoc yes. with their hospital systems. So this is huge. This is huge. I mean, ransomware, which is the virus that hit us, um, it's part of the mal malware uh, viruses. Uh, it basically, it's an international uh, thingy. And uh, it's, 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 it's operated by people that want to hit um, uh, companies, uh, big companies and even governments, uh, so that they can demand ransom uh, in, in that process. So it's, 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 not, it's, not, it's not only uh, what happened to City Power, but as you rightfully pointed out, it happens across the world. And uh, every time cyber security experts will tell you that you need to actually up your game to ensure that uh, when you, 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 you meet with such, such threats, you're able to respond quickly. I mean, one of the worst nightmares, a doomsday scenario really, is the entire city yeah. uh, being in the dark. And I, you know, I know that without being alarmist, mm -hmm. but the thought does cross the minds of some. So to settle that once and for all, sitting where you are sitting, are you able to say that with the processes that have gone into responding to this uh, cyber attack, mm -hmm. um, we won't have a situation where the, a, a, at least a large part of the city would be in the dark? Look, we always try to, when we're dealing with systems, and especially, you remember City Power, especially where the servers and everything are, it's, it's, it's a national key point. So when you're dealing with this kind of, uh, in, in that kind of system, you basically try to be always a step ahead. Uh, from uh, your, your, your cyber attacks and, and, and so forth. So we are always trying to ensure that our monitoring, uh, cyber monitoring systems are, are in place and also um, using both external and internal resources, we're able to recover quickly when something happens. And the good thing about our, our systems is that uh, they're duplicated even at the city. So when you hit city power, we can always have a recovery uh, 
kind of system uh, so for business continuity from using what we have at the, at, at the city but it's always something that we always uh, try to strive to ensure that we we improve on it so that we don't get to a situation where we we've got the whole of uh, uh, Johannesburg actually plunged into darkness because of what we could have done and I'll say this has been a big wake-up call hasn't it I mean I, yes. I suspect that you'll be championing for this to be taken up quite seriously as a matter of not only city security, but national security. Yeah, indeed. I mean, um, from the morning, uh, City Power CEO, Mr. Rato said he has summoned everyone to work around uh, our response and recovery so that we, we, we can do this quickly. We can be able to put uh, 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 things in place so that we're able to ensure that we don't especially inconvenience our customers. That, 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 that was the first point of entry to say, for us not to inconvenience the customers uh, and not be able to purchase electricity in this cold uh, weather we need to ensure that the vending system is up and running and we did that by uh, early afternoon the vending system was up and running but also we have been working with um, the national security as I mentioned that this is an, a national key point so the, the national uh, security uh, agencies have already kind of like uh, extended a helping hand and because of they also see they see this as a national security threat yeah uh, so so that it doesn't actually go even beyond the borders of city power so they're actually uh, on, on 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 the ground uh, with with the with the with our own security people to ensure that we deal with this and and investigate the causes and who it might be coming from a final issue that I want to raise with you Isaac and it's not related to this I wanted to just get your sense of what your attitude is as city power to a phenomenon that we've observed in township areas where people sometimes don't want to pay for electricity or perhaps where there's a scourge of illegal connections. And we've, we've heard reports um, of certain areas, certainly in Johannesburg, where people will be saying that um, ESCOM uh, basically has said when a transformer blows, uh, when infrastructure is damaged because of you know that behavior of illegal connections uh, and where people are refusing to pay uh, basically you know uh, we're told escom says you as a community band together raise the resources get the transformer and pay for it mm. we are simply not willing to continue to fund uh, that kind of an exercise i imagine that's something that you also grapple with uh, in the areas that you supply how are you dealing with that non-payment but also illegal connections and the impact they then have on um, infrastructure mm. look uh, the city of Johannesburg is a is a is a pro poor uh, city it's a pro poor government uh, and we always try to 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 meet customers halfway we don't just switch off people we don't um, also uh, put them in a situation where they cannot be able to leave tomorrow. So what we, we often do is to basically try to engage in educational campaigns. This problem of illegal connections is a serious problem and it's a, it's a historic problem. It's, if you look at it, it's not really something that started recently or st started with this administration. It actually is a historic problem and it mostly affects uh, 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 the poor and, the, and black people. So we always try to uh, educate our customers uh, around issues of uh, illegal connections, but we also try to fast track uh, the supply of uh, formal electricity to those people that are illegal connected so that they can be able to be on the system right. and be able to pay. You'll remember in Zanspreit, we used to have a similar problem and we engaged ESCOM to say the people of Zanspreit are illegal connecting from our lights. Uh, and so ESCOM should step in and be able to install electricity. And they have, and that's, what we, that's the attitude that we try to, to come to, to say, People, if they don't have electricity, need electricity. Let's give them electricity and make them pay. Isaac Mangana, thank you so much for coming through thank and you. sharing those uh, insights with us. And hopefully you will keep us uh, updated as, a, as you deal with the situation in as far as the IT uh, situation is concerned uh, at City Power.